guys, welcome to my newest video. Thank you for clicking on it. How's everyone doing? Everyone's having a fantastic day. You all are super amazing. Let's get started with this video. So today I am making DIY Flome. Flome. Uh, I don't even know how to explain what Flome is, but it's like slime, but with like these beads in it that make it different. I don't fully understand what Flome is, but I will show you guys because we're going to make it today. So all you need to make Flome is glue, and I'm pretty sure you can use... Uh, white Elmer's glue or you can use clear Elmer's glue from what I've seen you can use either one you need borax of course water food coloring if you want <coughs> Bless me. I'm so sorry, and you need these bag of bean bag type stuff So I got this bean bag filler like the website that I'm using like I'll put the link down the website that I, I'm using that I uh, got these ingredients from but this is what they told me to get which is a giant one pound bag of bean bag stuff uh, hopefully that's what I'm supposed to be using. Anyways, let's go ahead and start with this video. I think it's going to be super easy and super fun. So what I've noticed we're doing first is that we're basically just making slime. So let's just go ahead and make regular slime. I'm going to go ahead and add all four of these Elmer's glue. I think for basically every one cup of glue, you add one cup of water. And since these are four ounces, that means that two equals eight ounces. Eight ounces is one cup. This is math, guys. This is math right here. So we're gonna go ahead and add two cups of water, which I'm pretty sure this is. It's a little over two cups, so I'm not gonna add the entire thing. All right, that's all I'm adding. I added almost two cups of water. I get really stressed out though that I'm gonna ruin it. So now it's this mixture. It kind of looks like milk. We're going to take our one cup of water and we're gonna add two teaspoons of borax to it. This is what makes the slime. I can't explain to you how it does it, but it's what makes the slime. Seriously, who invented this? <sighs> Open sesame, OMG, please don't, please don't. That's right, that's plenty, I think. Let's go ahead and uh, bring back this uh, stuff. And I'm gonna separate it into three different bowls because I'm gonna make three different colors. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, I did it. Let's go to under food coloring. This is the food coloring that this website told me to get, but I'm pretty sure you can use whatever food coloring you want. Most definitely purple, most definitely blue, and now, should I use pink or, sorry, magenta or orange? Magenta, you're right, that was a good idea. Sorry if you said orange. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Ooh, the purple one looks very pretty. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to clean up the mess a bit, because I don't like how cluttered it is over here. Now what I heard is that when you make your slime, make it a little wet. Like don't make it super exactly how slime's supposed to be because you're gonna add these beads. We want these beads to stick, which is the problem I made with when I made the Orbeez slime. So we're gonna be careful with our borax to make sure and make sure we don't overdo it. Let's do the pink one first because this will be our trial color. I love how it immediately starts working like that. It's just the coolest thing ever. It's going good guys, look at that. All right, we're doing really good, guys. Look at it so far. It's definitely slime-like, but it's still a little liquidy in there, so we're gonna add a little more borax, and then we're not gonna do any more. I'm just using my hands because, like, honestly, I think it's more effective. Here's our slime. Hopefully I didn't make it too slimy. Uh, I may have. Even if this sucks, I'm proud of myself for making slime. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this bag of the bean bag stuff, and I'm just gonna pour it into this. Oh, it feels so cool though, guys. Hopefully this works. I don't even know what's going on right now, guys, to be honest. What is this? So this is what has happened so far. Um, is that flow? Okay, um, let's go ahead and do a different color. Okay, so we're gonna do it again. Uh, I did a little more research on it, hoping that I'll uh, do it right this time. I'm gonna be a little more careful this time. I'm just using my hands now. Because honestly, I'm at that point in my life. Okay, we're gonna add a little more borax mixture. Maybe I should just take this out and use this. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna take this out and I'm going to add it to this bag. Now, we're going to add beads into the bag. Now, we're going to close the bag. I'm giving you guys a step-by-step -step process of this. We're letting the air out. We're going to literally mix it up. I don't... 
know what this is doing. Is this what Flove is supposed to be? I literally can't, I swear. What is going on? What are you doing? All right guys, what if I add some of this to make it a little wetter, eh? Not a bad idea, right? Ah! Oh my gosh, I cannot with this. What is going on? I can't. It's falling everywhere. I am so frustrated right now. So this is my flow. It looks exactly like the picture, but we'll put a side by side of what it's supposed to look like next to what I made, which is clearly exactly what I was supposed to make. No, okay. Oh! I'm done. All right, this one was better than that one at this point. This one's actually considered well. You know what? This is kind of cool though. I'm just gonna... We have one more chance. Let's take advantage of this chance with my blue slime that I love. I'm gonna do it right this time, okay? Maybe this all just stems back to my problems of not being good at making slime. <laughs> I actually really like this slime, look at that. All right, get in there. Now we're going to massage it into the slime. This is worse than the Orbeez because I don't know how I'm gonna clean this mess up. It's just falling out. It's just falling out, you hear that noise? I added too much borax and I understand that now. Every time a bead hits the ground, I, I die a little inside. Okay, well, let's review what's happened today, shall we? This slime is currently on the ground. I just don't feel like it's flown because, so this one's actually pretty closer to, I think, what they were asking me to do. Oh my gosh, I can't. So it just kind of looks like slime, I think, with uh, beads in it. <laughs> which is fine, I don't care. The pink one, that one's not bad. I just feel like, again, it's not what the pictures were supposed to be. Okay, let's just see what we got here, okay? This, I believe, is my best attempt at flow. They're dropping on the ground. This one's a little more stickier, but it definitely has more beads in it because it's a bigger batch, and I don't know what's going on ever. It's cool. I like it, I don't mind it. This one's basically just slime because I think I really gave up at this point. This is a blue one, I really like the color at least. I mean, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's not falling out as much because it's stickier, but also I feel like I didn't add more than the other ones. Okay, wow, you made a mess, I get it. I get it. Oh my God, guys, I made a mistake. I wanted to take a cool picture. It hit the ground. Okay, honestly though guys, it's wrapping around my arm. It's like a rainbow now, look at it. Stop, oh my gosh, okay. <gasps> I don't know what's happening anymore. I feel like I should just end the video while I still have some dignity. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Yay for trying A for effort, A for effort. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. I post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And I will see you guys in my next video. See you later. Bye! Really not that bad, actually. If you think about it, it's kind of cool.